Welcome to D News, the only place where you can get D News. We have a very interesting news story today. Recently, there was a robbery in the physics department. An unknown suspect has stolen Miss D's bell. Here's some footage we found. Now to Inspector Sharma, who is trying to figure out who the suspect is. Inspector Yoon and I have been working on this case for an entire minute now. Let's go to the lab and figure out who committed this crime. So the problem that we have here is a 50 kilogram person hangs from an Atwood machine with a 40 kilogram mass on the surface, which has a coefficient of 0.3, and a 1.25 kilogram pulley. So we need to find the acceleration of the person as he descends to grab the bell. Now, the givens for this problem are the mass of the block, which is 40 kilograms, the mass of the person, which is 50 kilograms, and the mass of the pulley, which is 1.25 kilograms. We also know the forces acting on this whole Atwood machine. There's the force of friction acting upon the box. There's the force of tension, which pulls the box. There's the normal force of the box and there is the weight of the box. On the person, the force of tension is pulling the person upwards while his weight pulls him downwards. And finally, on the pulley, there's two different tension forces that are acting. The first tension force is towards the box and the second tension force is pulling, him, pulling the pulley downwards towards the person. For this problem, we have three suspects, suspect X, Y, and Z. We know the acceleration of each of these suspects if they were put on this Atwood machine. So what we, ha what we have to do for this problem is find the acceleration of the person on the Atwood machine and match it to one of these suspects to find out who the true criminal was. Suspect X has an acceleration of 2.2 meters per second squared on the Atwood machine. Suspect, suspect Y has an acceleration of 4.1 meters per second squared on the Atwood machine, and Suspect Z has an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared on the Atwood machine. So, to approach this problem, the first thing we need to consider is the summation of forces on the block in the y direction. The summation of forces would be the normal force of the block minus the weight or mass times gravity of the block, which is equal to zero. Therefore, the normal force of the block would be equal to the weight, or 40 times 9.8, which is equal to 392 newtons. The next thing we need to consider is the summation of forces in the x direction. These would be the tension of the rope holding the block minus the force of friction, which is equal to the mass times the acceleration of the block. Therefore, the tension in the rope would be equal to the mass times the acceleration plus the force of friction, or mass times acceleration, plus mu fn. Next, we need to consider the summation of forces in the y direction for the person. These would be the mass times gravity of the person, or the weight, minus the tension in the rope holding the person, which is equal to the mass times acceleration of the person. Therefore, the tension in the rope would be equal to the weight of the person minus the mass times acceleration of the person. Lastly, we need to consider the summation of torque on the pulley. So we need to start with the tension in the rope holding the person times the radius minus the tension in the rope holding the block times the radius, which is equal to I alpha, or torque. In this case, I would be equal to 1 half M3 R squared because the pulley is a disc. We also know that alpha is equal to acceleration divided by radius. Therefore, we can set the tension in the rope holding the person times the radius minus the tension in the rope holding the block times the radius equal to 1 half m3 r squared times the acceleration divided by the radius, and we can see that all the radii in this problem cancel out. Therefore, we are left with the tension in the rope holding the person minus the tension in the rope holding the block is equal to 1 half m3 times acceleration. Now that we have equations for both tensions, we can substitute them back into this equation right here. So we know that tension 2 is equal to m2g minus m2a minus tension 1, which is equal to M1A plus mu Fn, which is all equal to 1 half M3 times A.
Next, we can set acceleration on one side and everything else on the other side. Therefore, acceleration would look like this. M2G minus mu fn all over m1 plus m2 plus 1 half m3. After substituting the given values into the equation, we can determine that the person's acceleration is 4.11 meters per second squared. Now that we have determined that the person's acceleration was 4.11 meters per second squared, we know that the true culprit was suspect Y. Next up on E-News, scientists try to answer the age-old question, are you with me here? 